what is the situation and what measures can be taken so findings under findings you can give subtitles measures to be taken to increase tourists so what are the measures these improving accommodation facilities right transportation facilities you you can explain the things okay tourists should be give, uh, get an opportunity to travel without any cost without any fare and different vehicles should be managed only for the tourist in this way food and services yes you know tourists should be provide quality food as nepalit food is you know uh, much more highly and you know just tourists should be uh, you know provided food according to their interest maintenance of tourist sports you can explain that yes tourist is for there must be you know security must be ma maintained at the tourist sports and uh, maintenance must be done to attract more and more tourist then you will be writing conclusion so conclusion means it is synopsis of your discussion part or your findings so what you write here is although the tourism sector is growing rapidly in the country many further measures need to be taken for the development of this sector improvement in transportation and accommodation is must for tourism development in nepal then you will go for ending hope this report covered all the desired aspects thank you then you will go for this complimentary close you are sincerely you just a signature here name a position and the you know just work please this is how you should write letter report this is how you should write letter report now memo report yes memo report is particularly is it circulated within an organization yes letter report is, is circulated outside the organization too but memo report is circulated within an organization when teachers to teach colleagues wants to communicate when two departments wants to communicate these memo reports are used so it is more informal than letter report because it is communicated or circulated within an organization so you you should be careful about the parts of memo report letter head to from date you remember these things letter head to from date subject line body same why you are writing the report what does the report focus on means what does the writer is about or what is the right you know report about then you write findings recommendations and the main body of a memo report includes yes in memo report you can give subtitles according to the content according to your content so name and signature of the person writing the report this is optional signature even uh, name is not necessary signature of uh, the person writing the report optional now when you lay out of here is a layout of memo report you can see it letter head must be there then to write down name position from name position date date can be written in the beginning or just after from whatever you do subject write down state subject clearly main body what does the report focus on findings or recommendations here then signature optional here is the question suppose you are administrative officer at advanced institute of arts and sciences kathmandu write a report on lack of students participation in academic activities in a memo format in response to the request made by the director sometimes i already told you the question can be this much this much suppose you are administrative officer at advanced institute of art and sciences kathmandu write a report on lack of students participation in academic activities in a memo format so always reports are written to Uh, written in request of somebody and to submit somewhere so a sample report is here this is the question advanced institute first letter head must be there then
to XYZ Suresh Director. To XYZ Suresh Director. First letterhead, then to XYZ Suresh. You can go write director just under XYZ Suresh to look, make it attractive. But I have written in this way from XYZ Adhikari, Administrative Officer. Date. 15 September 2020. Then subject, subject, lack of students' participation in academic activities. Now you are writing this report in response to the uh, you know director's request. So when just uh, he requested you, he might have requested you or he must have requested you uh, through this memo. So write down. Please refer to your memo number. Just you give number, or it is uh, here is the report on this one in response to your request made on. You can write in this way. As you are writing memo report, so write down. Please refer to your memo uh, number. This one dated 5 September 2020, or please uh, you know refer to your request made on this date. You can directly write asking me to study the causes of lack of enthusiasm. Among the students for participating, participating in academic activities and to suggest remedial measures. Why you are writing in somebody's request and what what is your report about? It's about uh, the lack of enthusiasm or causes for lack of enthusiasm among the students for participation in academic activities and to suggest some medi you know remedial measures. After that, you will have findings. Findings is always you find something, you 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 take interview or you use question as because why students are not taking part? You you yourself cannot write each and everything. You should ask students. Right? For example, if you are researching on uh, the same topic like lack of students participation in certain program, when you have to write report, you cannot write each and everything yourself. If you write in your own way, that will not be credible. You should ask your friends. You should ask teachers. That means you will be using uh, interview or questionnaire. Findings. You talk about the method here. Based on responses from 64 students and 20 faculty members. Based on responses means you used whether questionnaire or interviews. The following causes for poor participation in academic festivals were determined. So what what you found? 31% of the students cited low participation of students is due to insufficient advertising of the festival and less prize money for the events. So you know, just the, first the college didn't inform all the students seriously, and next one is the prize money was very low, and so students uh, didn't show any interest. Second one is. 48% of the faculty expressed their inability to guide students in projects due to excessive administrative work. Teachers remain busy in administrative works. They are overloaded with these administrative works. So they also don't get time to encourage the students to involve in these academic activities. That is another reason. 32% of the students and 41% of the faculty indicated that low participation was because of inconvenient timings. Yes, timing may be inconvenient. For example, if college conducts any academic activities or program just before the exam, students don't take part. If timing also, you know, students can take part in in these programs when they are conducted early in the morning or in the evening. In the you know in the afternoon time, especially we we don't show interest. Even students may remain busy in the afternoon. So inconvenient timing, another reason. These are just findings. So after that, after finding, you will be writing recommendation. Recommendation, just in your findings, you have addressed some problems. Here, you will be recommending. What can be done? Students should be informed very seriously before before conducting any academic activities, and prize money should be increased as it encourages students to take part in each and every. Events. Administrative work should be evenly distributed, and you know, just teachers should not be overloaded with these administrative works, so that they can just encourage students to take part and help them 
to do better in their other academic activities. So uh, convenient timing should be there. These different programs should be conducted, uh, not before the exam, but after the exam. As students get an opportunity to do, get refreshed as well as, you know, they enjoy when such type of activities are conducted after the exam. During the time of pressure, they, they don't take part. And even if they take part, it doesn't become effective. In this way, you should write recommendation. So here's signature, right? Just go for signature. Okay, so these are informal reports. Two informal reports. Informal report in a letter format, informal report in a memo format. Right. So let's start very important one, formal reports. Formal reports, I already told you that reports are formal or informal on the basis of their structure, on the basis of their scope. So these progress reports and research reports are formal reports. These are a bit longer as well. And these follow complete you know, structure. These are circulated in as well as out of the organization. Most of the time out of the organization. So here is definition. I will upload this file. You can go through the definition. Types of formal reports, progress report, research report, feasibility report, technical report. Here, our focus will be on progress report and research report. So what is progress report? Let's start with this. Your supervisor, look, your supervisors want to know what you are doing at work. They want to know what progress you are making on a project, whether you are on a schedule, what difficulties you have you might have encountered, and what your plans are for the next reporting period. Because of this, supervisor ask you to write progress reports daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or annually. So you write progress report on academic activities, you are you know, just uh, academic activities and your big projects as well. So if you are, if you are writing, you know, just a uh, progress report on academic activities at that moment, you may have daily report as well. But if you talk about big projects, right? So at that uh, moment, monthly or quarterly reports are good daily what you write because in a uh, on a day you don't do anything then. Uh, Weekly is not also good. So if you are undertaking any uh, project, big projects, you know, construction work, at that moment you will have monthly, quarterly progress reports. So these, uh, the following are the parts of an effective progress report. So heading, heading includes, there are five, you know, parts of this progress report, first heading, introduction, discussion, conclusion, recommendation. So under heading, date, to means name position, from name position, subject. Introduction means overview and background, why you are writing this report, what the report is about. And we, when talking about progress reports, you may write uh, sometimes a first progress report, sometimes a second, third, fourth, fifth progress report. So when you write second, third, fourth uh, progress report at that moment in introductory session, you should include what you uh, already have completed. If you are writing second, you know, monthly progress report, you just include what you have completed in your in the first month. We will go through samples. Then discussion. Discussion includes works completed or accomplished. What works you have accomplished? Then, then works remaining. Problems encountered. You will be talking about these things. So conclusion is the sum up. Of what you have achieved during this reporting period. Or it is sum up or here in conclusion, when you write conclusion, you sum up what you have achieved, what 
you are doing and what problems you encountered during this reporting period right so when you write conclusion you just sum up the discussion part and just write down when you plan to or when you are going to complete uh, the work then recommendation in discussion part you have some problems problems encountered write down recommendation on the basis of the uh, problems you have listed so here is just layout of a progress report layout of a progress report i am just talking about progress report layout is to from date or you can start with date to date to from no problem then subject then introduction means background overview discussion under discussion you have works completed works remaining problems encountered conclusion sum up what you have achieved what is remaining and problems encountered during this reporting period then recommendation here you have this problems encountered you write recommendation on the basis of that if problems are presented in this in the discussion you can recommend changing in services schedule budget material yes what write down the recommendation so after this i have here a sample because sample helps you a lot this is the exam question question this type of questions will be there as a chief engineer of a micro hydro power project launched in one of the remote sites of dadhing district write the second monthly progress report inventing necessary details look you are a chief engineer of a micro hydro power project launched in one of the remote sites of dadhing district write the second monthly progress report inventing necessary details this is the question so how you will be writing you will be starting with a uh, to from then date or date to from no problem but uh, as i have a, you know just a layout to from date you can go for that too 17 september 2020 to xyz system manager from abc margin chief engineer after that you will move to subject second monthly progress report on micro hydro power project then first part is introduction then discussion conclusion recommendation and sometimes yes if you don't have time you can go for conclusion slash recommendation too here look how it's written in response to your request or in response to your september 5 2020 request following is our second monthly progress report monthly progress report on micro hydro power project launched in barabishe 5 dadhing i just invented this detail so here i have written monthly progress report you can write quarterly progress report right so here i have written it in a bold form monthly progress report on micro hydro power project launched in barabishe 5 dadhing as mentioned as it is your second monthly progress report so as mentioned in our first report we already completed some works like survey collection of raw materials and tunnel construction so very complex thing here and many students encounter problem when they invent details when there is original situation or real situation at that moment you will just you will be just describing the things what you have completed what you are going to complete what problems you have encountered if the real situation is there at that moment you will not have any problem but writing you know these uh, research articles progress reports in the exam can be complex for some of the students because you invent you is an everything here it takes time and sometimes students run out of time as well so 
second monthly progress report on micro hydro power project launched in Barabasi Dadi. As mentioned in our first report, we already completed some works like survey, collection of raw materials, and tunnel construction. In the second month, in the second month, we are determined to accomplish the following, or you can use this expression as well. In the second month, our construction plans include the following. What your construction plan includes in the second month, in the second month, dam construction and powerhouse construction. In the second month, you have planned to complete dam construction and powerhouse construction. So what you have completed till now, you have to complete dam construction and powerhouse construction in the second month. What you have completed, you write discussion then under that works accomplishment accomplished. So you are doing dam construction, these two works, dam construction, powerhouse construction in the second month, what you have completed. So in the second month, we have completed the following site clearing. Yes, for dam construction as well as powerhouse construction, you should go for site clearing. You completed that. You completed dam construction, fine. Selection of workers of the building construction, powerhouse building construction, you uh, accomplished that. Then foundation excavation also completed. Now you should think what is remaining. Site clearing complete, dam construction uh, complete, selection of workers for building construction, uh, you know, uh, is, is over. Then foundation excavation, excavation is also over. Then what you have to do? Yes, powerhouse construction is still remaining. And then, yes, collection of raw materials at the site is also remaining. Because, yes, you have collected raw material at the site, but not at the site where you are going to construct this powerhouse. So you can write these things in work remaining. Work remaining, to meet the target of this month, we need to accomplish the following. Powerhouse construction or management of raw materials for the powerhouse construction. First write down management, then you can write that too. You, if you do this or just you can write powerhouse construction. What is remaining? You have completed all other things. Powerhouse construction is remaining. Fine. Or if you want to make, you just again write it earlier management. You can write it a collection of raw materials is remaining construction is also remaining. So here you can do and you can delete this. Now this is how you should write. And when you write in the exam, you explain uh, these things or these tasks in two, three sentences. So, for example, if you write a uh, site clearing, yeah, we have we have cleared the site uh, for the construction. And it took us just this uh, 15 days or just two days or three days. Or 10 days, whatever you write. So dam construction. Dam construction just uh, was over last Monday and uh, it took us five days to construct the dam. You can describe the dam as well. Selection of workers for building construction. We have selected some workers for the building construction according to their efficiency and expertise. We have selected the workers for the building or powerhouse construction. Foundation excavation. Yes, the, the work of foundation excavation to build a powerhouse is over and it took us just three days or two days. In this way, you write about that. Then work remaining, I talked about that and describe these things as well. Then problems encountered. Write down problems encountered. You may encounter many problems uh, during construction. And write down two, three problems, no more than that, because if you list out the problems, six, seven, eight, nine problems, that, that means if you have problems one after another, you, you cannot do the things. So that is not good sign. 
Now problems encountered is here landslides. You explain that as it is the remote area and hilly region, there occurs landslide every day. So it it's taking time to continue our work effectively and efficiently, and we think it also delays our project. Then disagreement with the locals. You should explain. You should invent the necessary details. Uh, as uh, you know, uh, this uh, uh, dram construction and powerhouse construction is a big project, and we need to excavate at this area. These local people are not satisfied with this construction work. According to them, this construction work or this excavation will lead their life in danger due to this construction. There will occur landslide in their area and they will probably be homeless in the future. In this way, you can write big rocks on the way. Describe it. Fuel shortage. Power cut. Explain these things as well. Then conclusion. Write down conclusion. Conclusion means synopsis of the discussion and provide target completion date. Write down. Yeah, in the in the second month we have completed these things and we are working on these works. During our construction, we encountered some problems. Even if we encountered problems, but we will surely complete our work on time. In this way, write down, or we will complete uh, these works. Like we will complete dam cons dam construction and then that uh, powerhouse construction by this month. Okay. Now recommendation. Write down recommendation here as you have problems, right? So government should help us, or the you know uh, related uh, related agency should help us to uh, make agreement with locals. And as we are running out of fuel every day, government should or uh, you know related agency should manage fuel for us. We use you know some machines uh, running from electricity. And due to power cut, it delays our work. So government should think about this as well, right? So this is progress report, and in this way you should write progress report. But let me talk about just one thing, then I will wrap up the class. Just a uh, uh, three minutes or more. Just I want to talk here. I talked about write a progress report. I talked about. Writing progress report. Even in this technical writing, very minor things or just one element matters a lot. Here, as a chief engineer of of a micro hydropower project launched in one of the remote sites of Dading district, write the second monthly progress report, inventing necessary details. Here, the question is just to write progress report. But sometimes you can have question. As a chief engineer of a micro hydropower project launched in one of the remote sites of Dading district, write the second monthly progress in a memo format. In a memo format. So, what you will be doing when you are asked to write a report in a memo format? Rest of the things you can find here, but only you should add later head. You should add. Later head. When you are asked to write just a progress report at that moment, no later head. But when you are asked to write, you know, just a progress report in a memo format, at that moment, later head must be there. And as it is a memo report, it will be circulated within an organization. Sometimes your contractor may ask you to write progress report. So this is only the different. Rest of the things will be same. To this one from post subject, rest of the thing will be same. And when you are asked to write progress report in a memo format, later head must be there. So uh, rest of the things are same. I don't think I should read these things once again. So progress report in a memo format, sample I have uh, just written here. Same question, just a memo format is added here. 
and when memo format is given letter head must be there chaudhari construction private limited this one uh, xyz stressed manager you are chief engineer you work for the same company so you manager asked you to write just a progress report okay so uh, progress report in a memo format but when gov government of nepal ask you to write uh, progress report it is circulated outside the organization at that moment you will just have xyz stressed uh, government officer or whatever or sometimes a manager can be abc chief engineer okay now sometimes you are given uh, in a question to submit it to this place in sometimes you are just asked to write progress report at that moment you should invent these all details right so when you are asked to write progress report then letter head must be there rest of the things are same no problem with that okay so uh, okay this much i want to talk in this class today in our next class uh, we will be dealing with a uh, research report now this progress report is always asked and it carries six marks you remember this and uh, you you should just you know keep in mind the format rest of the things you can write i know but format must be taken into consideration you must follow format what is the format of letter report a memo report all the things okay i will upload this uh, file right now you you can just once again go through it and uh, you you can just recall the things once again in our next class we will be dealing with uh, writing research report that carries 10 marks research report and research article are similar but only difference is uh, you know reports are descriptive totally descriptive and uh, research articles are more and more analytical okay if you have any queries regarding the discussion uh, you can go for queries otherwise uh, we wrap up the class i will upload this file for you you just go through this thank you sir uh, do you have any queries or not i i i stopped the thank recording you,